Alright, hey guys, so today we've got some mail to catch up on, so I'll be opening about 15 packages. And also I will show some insane local pickups at the end of the video as well, including one of my best cards, a dual shield. So let's get into it. So let's get into all of this mail today. Got about another 15 or 20 or so to get into. So uh, yeah, let's begin with this uh, larger one here. I actually do know what this one is. Um, it's a more recent purchase. So this is some pretty uh, pretty nice packaging here. Very uh, very thorough, and everything's in top loaders in the end. So it's pr pretty nice packaging. Just hard to get into it. Okay, so finally we have the card zeros talking to this seller on eBay by the name of BMP, sorry BPM Photo. So he's a very nice guy. We worked out a deal for some cards I was looking for. So let's see what we got here. I guess he does deal with photos, as you can see these kind of film things here. But let me get all the cards out first, and then we can get into it. Okay, so we finally got all the cards out. He did throw in some extra uh, Centennial standouts, Brett Hall, and uh, Pat LaFontaine, I believe, and then a couple of other base here. But this is what I came for, a lot of canvas stuff. So if you guys uh, are new to the channel, I'm now working on the canvas cards from every year basically going back retrospectively as I've done this year's. But we've got Victor Edgso, I think that's 1819, Oscar Lindblom, Leas Anderson, Maxime Lejoie, and Michael McLeod. So that's a couple years ago. Looks like some 1920, we've got Adam Fox and Capo Caco, the checklist. We've got Sam Lafferty, Joachim Nygaard, Noah Hannafin, and the checklist of Eichel and Larkin. This would be uh, just a base. We got a program of excellence of Nick Patan and Jake Vertanen. We got one of those nice uh, kind of rare older ones of uh, Doug Gilmore. They're the Legends Cannabis. So I think they're actually a uh, case hit and they're the numbers like 250 and up. We've got Linus Allmark, who's work, uh, turned out to be a pretty good goalie this year. Andreas Antanasiu, Jake Vertanen again, another legend of Bobby Clark, and then a Cam Fowler base. Continuing on. We've got an Evgeny Kuznetsov base, Program of Excellence of Chris Bigras, not sure what happened to him, Dylan Larkin, Bo Horvat, Sam Reinhardt, Brandon Leipzig, Young Guns, Sonny Milano, Drake Kajula. Got this nice signature sensations of Chris Dridger, or Dridger. He's been pretty good for uh, the Cats this year, so I thought I'd pick it up for about, I think it was like $7. Uh, those are another case hit from uh, Series 1 this year. And then we round out with um, Yanni Kukinen. Sidney Crosby Bass, Christian Fisher, Callie Rosen, Alex Nylander, and Carson Kuhlman. So a whole slew of Young Guns canvas cards to start us off. All right, so we're probably a few minutes deep here already, but uh, let's continue on with the next package. As that was just one package for what we have going on today. So this card is from Klutz and Chara. If you don't know, they're an online um, and in-store uh, hobby shop, I guess you could say, in uh, Kitchener or Waterloo, Ontario. So this is a tremendous card. One of my more expensive purchases in the last couple of months. As you can see here, Klutz and Chara sports cards. So I put in a best offer on this. It was at least $130 or something like that. They have been going for cheaper since, but I got this right when the cup came out. And what a card this is. 15 of 15, Alexander Barkov and Sergei Bobrovsky, dual scripted swatches. So we got a dual, dual patch there, white on the Barkov, and then the gold and black on the Bobrovsky, probably from a number. So what a beautiful card that is. It'll be going to a one touch. And that's an awesome, awesome card for my Bobrovsky PC, and I'm very happy to have it. 
I do love collecting, uh, you know, sets and smaller cards for my PCs, but I also do love from time to time just going uh, for a big purchase like that and having just a beautiful card for your collection. Next up, we got more Young Guns canvases here. Just a couple of cards I got on the cheap for like two, three bucks each. Victor Arvidsson and Max Domi. So both of them are pretty, uh, pretty low valued cards and low valued players. Uh, I guess they're not really superstars, but Victor Arvidsson is kind of a low key name in Nashville, but he can never seem to sustain his play. And same with Domi, he had the 172 point year with uh, the Habs and then he hasn't really been able to do much ever since. All right, so here we have another uh, Pat LaFontaine canvas, this one from 1617 Series 2 Legend. So that's awesome, but this is even better. So another beautiful Florida Panthers patch card. So this is a Tundra Teammates Quads uh, from this year's Artifacts, 2021 Artifacts. We got Bobrovsky, Ekblad, Huberto, and Barkov with three color on all of them except for the Bob, which again seems like a numbered a number patch. And this one happens to be numbered uh, what is that? Six of ten. So six of ten. Uh, if you do have the Tundra Teammates Quads jerseys, I'm looking for that one, but I don't have the I don't have the jersey one. If you do have the Tundra Teammates Quad jerseys, I'm looking for that one, just the regular one. But this is an awesome, awesome patch to add to my collection. So another Bobrovsky and Panthers card there. So that's awesome. For whatever reason, I just like Bobrovsky, and uh, as of filming this video, he seems to be turning up his play a little bit in the NHL, so we'll see if that continues. Next package up here, we got a couple of Tim's cards, and we got another sick patch. So this happens to be the sick patch mail day, so catch a glimpse of it there. So look at this one, guys. This one's actually a lot thinner, though, than... This must be a 130 point, but we've got a Mega Patch Duos from Premier. I believe this is 1415 Premier. Yep. So we've got Semyon Varlamov and Sergei Bobrovsky. Obviously, this is a number patch coming from the two, probably on his arm. And then we got a sick, sick abs patch just busting out of the card there. Really thick there, as you can see. So what a nice card this was. 5 of 15, hand numbered. Uh, mega patch duo. So it's my first mega patch from Premiere, but again, I mean these patches are just stunning. So love to have those cards in my collection. So next up, uh, this is just a couple of extra cards. These are actually SPs. These are actually rookies from 1112 SP Authentic when they did like rookie base cards. So that's kind of interesting. A little throwback there. Uh, one of the main cards here that I picked up would be this Jonas Gustafsson, um, I guess it's Crown Royale. One of the big cards would be this Jonas Gustafsson Crown Royale purple card. Beautiful card again, this is from 1011 uh, Crown, so the, the base cards basically. 23 of 25, just a parallel. I don't see these parallels too often, so I picked this one up. It was $5, which is actually kind of a little expensive for Gustafsson. And then there's also a Rookie Gems of Sergei Bobrovsky. I just didn't have this one from Black Diamond, 1011, and it's a quad Rookie Gem, as he was obviously pretty highly touted. So moving along, we actually have another patch in here. So this is the Day of the Patches as we're just pulling some fire out of this mail. Um, this one, instead of Bobrovsky, is gonna be Grubauer. So this is from 2021 Artifacts. I didn't have this one yet. I do have the purple one, but not this one. So we have the Philip Grubauer Artifacts Emerald patch jersey numbered 64 of 65. The patch is not crazy. I mean, it's three color, but it's not crazy. I've seen better ones, but this card was about maybe $30 near the release of Artifacts. I know if I wait a little, the prices come down, but sometimes I'm a little too eager and I like to pick up the cards kind of right away. So anyways, that's another beautiful patch. 
So moving on, this guy hasn't actually shown his face in this mail day yet, but he's my biggest PC of all. Uh, arguably, I guess, with Bobrovsky, but Jonathan Bernier. So this is an overtime gold autograph from this year's overtime. He happened to have an autograph, I guess, so picked it up. This was outrageous. It cost like $43. I've never, I've only seen one on eBay, which was this one. So I guess that's why I kind of, uh, the price went through the roof, but someone was outbidding me. Um, so I kind of had to overpay by a mile for that Bernier card. But I am a huge, huge Bernier fan and uh, very happy to add that to my collection as he's one of my biggest PCs and his stuff is usually not too expensive. So you can kind of almost grab, you know, many, many cards that you see of him for a fraction of the price of some of the other superstars in the league. So next up, we've got another Young Guns Canvas, uh, 1920. Connor Clifton, not much to say about that one. This one here is a pretty cool card. Um, we've got a 0506 SP game use authentic fabrics dual jersey of Owen Nolan and Matt Sundin. So numbered out of 100. I love 0506 SP game use. I'm trying to collect the authentic fabrics. I'm not trying to collect the duels. They're kind of too difficult. But I saw this card, a couple of guys that were pretty big names back in the day. So I uh, figured I'd pick it up. It was about 10 or $12 at auction. The same seller also had a Belfour one. So that's actually the one I was trying to get, but I got outbid for that one. So ended up with just this one. This was a really nice uh, little package deal that I found. I had these uh, both these cards listed up together, and it was only three or four dollars for the both of them. So it's a couple of Bobrovsky cards. Let's get them out here. So both from Ultimate Collection uh, would be seventeen, eighteen. So we've got the base card numbered out of ninety nine silver. I don't know if that's a variation or not. And then we've got the gold auto numbered out of 75. That's on card. So it's a pretty nice little dual, dual pickup there for an average of $2 a card. So I'm very happy with that purchase. All right, so in here we have a interestingly packaged Grubauer in one of these BCW sleeves, but I guess it did the trick. Card seems okay. So it's a emerald, uh, Emerald Variation Parallel of Philip Grubauer, numbered out of 99. Didn't have that one, so that'll go to the Grubauer PC. This one is from the Czech Post. Um, and if I remember correctly, it is a couple cards of Martin Brodeur that I've been not hunting, but they're part of sets that I need. So let's get this open. So the first card would be this beautiful authentic fabrics so 506 SP game used. So I didn't have this card for my set. Uh, it's one of the bigger names, probably about 10 or $15 if I remember. Um, it's a beautiful dual. And the most appealing thing to me is that it's a dual uh, dual color. So you got the, the devil's red and the white. So beautiful card there. And then the other card that I got from him, he was selling a lot of Martin Brodeur stuff. So maybe you guys picked up a Brodeur card from him as well. Um, but this was the other card. It was an MVP one-on-one -on -one dual memorabilia of Martin Brodeur and Henrik Lundqvist. So couple of legends on this card there again 10 or 15 dollars so uh, very nice cards there to add to those various sets as i'm working on both of them this is another beauty of a card and it looks really good in person we've got the grubauer purple parallel numbered seven of just 20 so that'll go along with the rest of my parallels and it is a beautiful card this one was more expensive, about maybe 10 or $12. The other ones were a little cheaper. And if anybody has the pink parallel for Grubauer, I'm still looking for that one. That one's numbered out of 30, I believe. So that's the only one left that I need for Grubauer. Uh, actually, the pink and the ruby, for some reason, 
They haven't, um, sorry, I haven't seen a ruby of his. I don't know if it exists, but I'm not sure what's going on with that. It's very interestingly packaged between two pieces of cardboard. But I've ordered from the seller before. I guess we'll get it of the top loader. Just can't see it very well with all the glare. So I've ordered from the seller before. He has a very big selection of on-card autos that he's claimed to have gotten. So uh, this was a dollar twenty-five. It's just a base um, base ice card, I guess. From what is this? Fourteen fifteen ice. So I had a break of collecting during this time period, so I don't recognize it. But it's a Grubauer when he's on the Capitals, an early one of his first base cards, I guess. And it's on card autographed, so nice blue ink there. Very good looking card. The seller uh, says that he met a lot of people in person outside the ACC in Toronto. So that's a nice card to add to my Grubauer collection. And now we'll move on to the pickups portion of the video before doing a little recap at the end. This was a package deal I found on Kijiji of Jonathan Bernier. So if you guys know and follow the channel, you'll know that I PC Jonathan Bernier. I have a huge PC of him and I was cruising around Kijiji, saw a guy selling the shield. He also had the draft board. So I got the both of these and it was about, I think $275 for both. So I think that's a really good deal. Um, the cards are massive. They're 260.1 touches. So they're absolutely huge. And uh, this is my first shield, my first ever shield. Um, we've got Jonathan Bernier on one side. Of course, it's a one of one And we've got Brian Elliott on the other side. So he's actually a good goalie as well. It's not like they're a couple of stiffs. So that's a pretty sweet card to add to my collection. By far my best Bernier card. And uh, one of the most valuable cards I own as well. So the only thing is it's not autographed. That would be even sweeter, but can't complain. And then we do have the draft board of Bernier. I've been hunting this down as well. So they cut a piece of his draft board apparently from when he got drafted. And it's not numbered, but he did hard sign it on the board. So once again, guys, one of the biggest cards in my collection, an absolute masterpiece. I've got the only one and it makes me want to get more shields. But yeah, what do you guys think of the shield? I'm very excited to have it. It's one of my favorite cards I've ever seen. Beautiful, beautiful masterpiece. And as for some other pickups, we do have a bunch of young guns and canvases that I'm working on. So some of these are really cheap cards, like a couple of dollars. Some of them uh, go a little bit up from there. But we've got Lawson Krauss, Program of Excellence, and Matthew Joseph. We've got a Young Guns clear cut of Lindstrom. This is not a PC card, I just picked it up. Might move it though. Uh, we've got John Carlson, I didn't have that one. We've got Kevin Shattenkirk. We've got this uh, Young Guns UD Canvas checklist of McDavid and Vertanen. Kind of crazy how the McDavid regular canvas card goes for like maybe, I don't know, 1200 bucks right now. And it's exactly as rare as this one, which goes for 30. So kind of crazy to think about that. We've got Connor Hellebuck. He should be on the rise as he continues his great career. This was $25. Got Morgan Riley. His Young Guns about a $50 card now. Didn't have that one. This one here is another checklist. And then we got a Fabry program of excellence. Got a nice Elvis canvas card. I think this is about $20, $25. And Anthony Sorelli as well. All right, so this is just a little recap of everything. It was a very good mail day today. One of the better ones that I've kind of had. Uh, lots of different patches, lots of autographs, tons of Young Guns canvas, which happen to be booming these days. Some program of excellence in there. The canvas are from various years. We got some Legends canvas, some artifact parallels. And then the big hits here were some awesome, awesome patches. Of course, the shield, the Bernier stuff, the dual shield was just crazy. Awesome card, bet one of my best cards in my collection. And then a slew of awesome Bobrovsky patches here, and then one from Grubauer. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for all your hockey card content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.